What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are in the fantastic day today. Today we have the January 2022 Albuquerque Sunport International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. Today we have an absolutely massive Albuquerque Sunport International Airport update for you guys. Welcome back to the channel everybody. I hope you guys are on the fantastic day today. Like I said, today we have an absolutely massive Albuquerque Sunport International Airport update to start 2022. We have new routes, plenty of mainline aircraft and everything in between that one would want for this airport update once again welcome back everybody happy 2022 the first update of the year this is going to be absolutely awesome i'm so excited and we're kicking it off with a huge bang with this albuquerque update uh this is definitely one of the biggest updates we've had in quite some time and i'm super super excited for it with all that being said everybody we're not going to waste any further time and we're going to begin right here as per usual with this american eagle ember erj-175 on the behalf of skywest airlines this guy's currently making a non-stop service in from, uh, sorry, this is not, not Chicago, my bad. This guy's currently making a non-stop service in from Los Angeles International Airport today and is going to be heading back out there. Obviously seeing CRJ 700s and Ember 175s for SkyWest, so very cool to see that, looking really good. Next in line right here, we have this Frontier Airlines Airbus A320. This is Griswold the Bear. He's currently loading up on the turn back out to Denver, Colorado for us today, DIA. Really, really cool to have this one in the airport again. Obviously, I went really hard with those new Neos and the uh, other three. 20 that I got, the Cardinal. So it's really nice to get Grizz back in here, but about four times a week for this flight. So next in line right here, we have this Delta Connection Ember Ear J-170 filling in for a SkyWest Ember Ear J-175. I haven't done this in a while, so let's say that this is going to be the normal winglet one, if you guys know which one I'm talking about, that were the former Compass Airlines ones that are really cool. They used to fly from Northwest and everything. Missed them dearly, but we got Delta for the moment. This guy's currently loading up with a non-stop turn back out to Salt Lake City, Utah. Really want to go there one day. It's such a beautiful place, but very nice to have Delta going strong here with D-175 to Denver. Next in line right here, we have this Delta Airlines Airbus A321 in the thank you delivery with Sharklets. This guy's currently loading up with the non-stop turn back out to Atlanta, Hartsville, Jackson International Airport or Citrus Aviations Airport. Feel free to submit local fan pictures and uh, subscriber routes. The link is in the description. As long as you follow all necessary criteria, you'll, you'll be good to go there. With currently three daily flights on the A320, or A321, pardon me, looking really cool. We may get the A320 back at some point. We'll have to see, but looking really good right there. Next up, transitioning into all of these mainline aircraft that i've been talking about there is i think like 15 in a row and you can include that delta too but the amount of mainline at albuquerque right now is unbelievable but let's just get started we have so many we'll begin right here with a normal mainline this is the jeplu airways airbus a320 in the iheart new york tail this guy is fittingly going to be making a non-stop service out to new york's john f kennedy international airport no a220 yet it may have been february i'm not sure but hopefully that's going to be coming soon but really good to get iheart new york in here it's been a little bit so glad to have this in here today looking really nice next up we have this alaska airlines boom 737-8 100 in the honoring those who serve livery this guy's currently loading up with a non-stop turnaround back out to seattle tacoma international airport uh, i should have put the normal 739 in here the new one that i got from ng of course but honoring those who served did come in so i thought it would be fitting so honoring the, our veterans is absolutely amazing thank you guys for all your service we really appreciate it looking really nice the next six aircraft or so are absolutely mind-boggling i really can't believe that we're looking at this upcoming lineup but here we go everybody next up we have a variety of american airlines Lines mainline aircraft. I was not anticipating this lineup this time around. As you guys know, last month we had a heck of a lineup too. So how about this, everybody? Let's get started with all these. This is one heck of a lineup. Beginning right here on the bottom, we have the American Airlines Airbus A320 with IAE engines. This guy's currently getting ready to push back with a non-stop service back out the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport on the turnaround, looking very nice. Pushing back there in the middle, yes, that is an American Airlines Airbus A321neo. This guy's currently pushing back with the non-stop turnaround back out to Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. Believe it or not, these aircraft uh, actually, or this aircraft particularly, did substitute in, but we currently have two Airbus A321s flights a day, which is really cool, and one of those got substituted in for the A321neo. So it's really, really cool to see this in here, and I thought that this would be an awesome opportunity. We don't get a chance every day to feature an A321neo at Albuquerque so i thought that this would be an ideal time to do as such very very cool to get that in today's airport update looking very good all this main line's unbelievable the next line main line's even more crazy that's the american airlines 737-800 in the chrome heritage paint scheme this guy's currently making a non-stop service in from chicago o'hare international airport super super cool to see this in today's airport update as 
as we know we lost the main line in the last month now it's up to 737 800 which is thoroughly impressive they are not the only airline though that is seeing potential in the o'hare market this month as we have another aircraft coming up that i'm excited to show you guys but americans absolutely kicking it super super pleased with their efforts right here and i think that all these aircraft are looking really nice and great variety for the albuquerque sunport we'll be back to american at the end of the update as we have a special new something from them really really excited to talk about that but for the moment we have even more uh aircraft to go through how about this United Airlines lineup, everybody? I don't believe we've ever had three United Airlines mainline aircraft at the Sunport before, which is absolutely incredible. I seriously cannot believe that we're here, but it's super, super cool to see this, everybody. So let's hop into this lineup. On the bottom left-hand corner right here, we have the United Airlines Airbus A319 and the Evo Blue colors. This guy's currently loading up with a non-stop service out to Chicago O'Hare. Joining American on that main line, they are now operating their Airbus A319 regularly once a day which is super super cool uh, American and uh, United really go uh, hard on that route in terms of c competition so it's really cool to see that and uh, of course Southwest is also on it but man they really go strong on that so that's really cool to see right there beautiful aircraft so glad to have it in today's airport update We'll focus into the frame, the United Airlines Airbus A320 and the Continental Globe colors. Really hoping for an EVO Blue release because this would be a perfect lineup for it. But unfortunately, we have some variety, but that's all good. But regardless, this guy's currently loading up with the nonstop service out to uh, Denver, Colorado today. Uh, again, competing over there with Southwest and Frontier. So very cool to see United going strong on that route. And uh, Mainline, really love to see it. Very nice. And then back over to the top we go. We have the United Airlines Boeing 737-700. This guy's currently loading up with the nonstop service out the Houston Air Continental International Airport. This is a uh, mainline roulette pretty much for the Houston and Denver service, particularly uh, 737 700 today, then an 800 tomorrow. And I would not be surprised there was a 739 and 1819s in there and all kinds of stuff. But this United, this is their philosophy. Um, I don't know what the purpose is, but if they got to do it, they got to do it. So excited to see, but super good to get the uh, Evo 737 700 in here. It's a stunning model. And once I get that 739 from NG, that's that's just going to be one heck of an Evo lineup. Maybe somehow we'll get the 737, 700, 800, and 900 in a lineup like this. That would be super cool. But for the moment, we have some Airbuses and the 737, 700. So this is your typical United uh, mainline roulette, which is looking really nice. So thank you, United, for going strong. We appreciate it. Keep it up. Loading up with service out to Las Vegas is this Allegiant Air Airbus A319 in the old livery. Really nice model right here. Glad to have it in the collection. Looking really nice. Next in line right here, we have an absolutely beautiful water can salute on this South Center Lines Boeing 737-700 to start the year. This is a brand new inaugural service in from Burbank, Bob Hope International Airport. So glad to have this in today's airport update. It is so cool to finally have a new route at Albuquerque. As we previously talked about all that anticipation, it has been such a long Long time I think it's been probably about a year and a half so it's really really cool to finally see this at the Sunport it's an absolutely beautiful uh, city to go to of course with Burbank near LAX uh, as Southwest does have service to there but still it, it's a new airport is the point super super glad to have this in today's airport update wow absolutely amazing this aircraft is so glad to have a new route at long last really really cool i think that a lot of people are going to be able to utilize that burbank service which is absolutely awesome and i'm so glad that southwest has finally started another new service but like i said this guy's currently coming in from uh burbank and he's going to have non-stop service back out to uh, los angeles international airport since it's cali one looking really really nice so glad to have a new service i think it's going to do really well so excited for it and southwest continues to grow out of uh, Burbank. I think I mentioned this last update, but I did want to mention it one more time because it seems a little bit interesting. Kind of makes me feel like a fellow is maybe going to try the Albuquerque market, um, but maybe Southwest didn't want them to do that. That's a thought, but they are legitimately expanding regardless of what a is doing in Burbank, so maybe not. But I would love to see a fellow here. Hopefully, they make it in one day. But for the moment, we got the Burbank service on Southwest, which is looking absolutely amazing. Next up, we have a beautiful Southwest Airlines lineup right here of some uh, different varieties of 737-800s. We have a Max 8 up there at the top, the second release. So excited to get that third release out. It's going to be coming in very soon. But the 737 Max 8, this guy's currently making a non-stop flight in from Baltimore. And I want to try something a little bit different. If you guys remember, Southwest talks about in their departure. They do this on their website and at the gates and everything. They say where the plane's going first and then where it's continuing on to, if that makes any sense. So the place it goes after goes to the first destination. So for instance, if you were going from Albuquerque International Airport to, in this example, uh, Indianapolis, and uh, it, if they said continuing on to from Houston Hobby, where, 
it's going to be said along something along the lines of the Southwest 737 Max 8. This guy's currently coming in from Baltimore. Then it's heading on the Houston while continuing on to Indianapolis. That's the next flight that's going on. I just thought I would try that. I got a comment on it. I'll put it on the screen. But very, very cool system. And I just thought it would be kind of fun to try. So let me know if you guys would like to see this more often. But very, very cool indeed. So once again, the Max 8. This guy's coming in from Baltimore. And then he's going to be heading out to Houston, continuing on to Indianapolis. Next up, we have this 737-800 in the heart liver with split sim tars an absolutely beautiful model this guy's currently making a non-stop service in from dallas love field and then he's going to be heading out to phoenix sky harbor with continuing service after that to sacramento california and then we have the 737 800 in the freedom one livery this plane's absolutely stunning so glad to have it in the collection this guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from denver colorado and then it's going to be heading out to san diego with continuing service out to reno tahoe what a beautiful southwest airlines lineup absolutely amazing well done Next up, we have this United Express Bombier Nace here to the S200 on the behalf of SkyWest Airlines. This guy's currently making non-stop service in from uh, San Francisco, California, and is going to be heading back out there. Uh, finally, our main line for luck runs out, but that's A-OK. -okay. Um, this is expected for the San Francisco service, so no complaints there. Uh, we have a lot of really cool stuff going on over here at the miscellaneous ramp with Cargo GA and maybe even something else, so let's take a look. Currently getting de-iced and ready for departure, we have the Boutique PC-12 with the non-stop service out to Carlsbad, New Mexico. So cool to have this in today's airport update. Uh, it was very cold over there in Albuquerque, as it is in many places in our region, so uh, it I'm assuming they're definitely using the de-icer. I did see wintery mix on the monthly weather, so uh, at some point they probably did bring these out, but very cool to get these in here. Still pretty surprised it hasn't snowed yet, but I'm going to expect that to come at some point, so looking really nice right there. Next up, we have a really nice pair of GA aircraft. We'll start up here on the left, the Cessna 172. This guy's currently doing some local flights around New Mexico. He made a non-stop service today in from Corvus, New Mexico. That's where Denver Air Connect flies, which is really cool. He's going to have continuing service out to Silver City, which is going to be really nice and then on the uh, right right here we have a local base Cessna Citation 560 the one that is in real life that I saw is a um, Cessna uh, Citation 680 but we're just going to say that this is going to be filling in because got to make do with what we have right I mean this is the best we can do right now so uh, there was a really cool route that I wanted to feature so this guy's currently coming in from St. Paul Minnesota and he's based here so he's going to be waiting for his next flight so he's probably a couple days out but it's flown all over the place the registration is November 2-0 hotel so very cool to have this in here it has a nice little simple livery so nice to have some uh legit albuquerque ga hatch in here i'm pleased with it so looking really good how about this everybody right here we have a pair of f-22s i'm so excited to get this in the airport update i will be honest i kind of forgot i had these but then i found them again i was like man i can't pass them up on using them and these are a real treat you rarely see these around in the u.s so i thought that it would be really cool to have them in here i'll be honest i'm not a military expert expert completely so if these aren't flying actively and can't do the route that i'm going to give them i completely apologize i'm pretty sure that they are able to do this but again if not my apologies uh feel free to train me up in the comment section comment if uh you guys can give me some knowledge but right here we have a pair of F-22s. These were 3D printed by a good friend of mine, so I really appreciate it. They're in the fan mail episode from last year if you'd like to check out the details on that. But right here, we have a stunning pair of F-22s. These are currently operating for the Hawaii Air National Guard with a flight back out to Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, these are actually uh, in the Hawaii Air National Guard, to my knowledge, from what I looked at, uh, which is really, really cool. They have a variety of aircraft, but I thought the F-22 was really cool, and it's uh, one of the few military planes I haven't got a chance to use yet. I will be adding more military planes to my fleet thus i'll be having more of them in the airport updates which i'm very excited about but for the moment right now we have these two f-22s these will definitely be making appearances every now and then so be on the lookout for them super glad to get them started in 2022 and yeah like i said they currently just made a little training mission out here out to new mexico and they're going to be making non-stop service back out to honolulu hawaii super cool to have these in today's airport update very very happy to have them in here looking really nice Alrighty, beginning right here with the cargo lineup, we have this FedEx Express Airbus A300. So happy to have this from Aero Classics. Thank you so much. It's going to make the 2022 update so amazing. But this guy's currently loading up with a non-stop service in from Memphis, and he's going to be heading out to Lubbock here in a little bit. Looking good. Next up, we have the UPS Boeing 757-200. This guy made a service in from Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport earlier today, and he's going to have continuing service back out that way to El Paso, Texas. To conclude our cargos, we have some really nice looking aircraft. Currently waiting for a service right here, we have a UPS Airbus A300. 
300 freighter. This guy's currently making a non-stop service today in from Phoenix Sky Harbor, and he's going to have continuing service out to Denver, Colorado. And then we have two 767-300s as per usual that look absolutely awesome. The UPS Boeing 767-300 freighter, excited for the Gemini Jets one. I probably will not get it, but still cool that they're uh, making another release of it. But this guy's currently got non-stop service back out to Louisville in the turnaround, and vice versa turnaround for the FedEx Express Boeing 767-300 freighter. However, this guy has non-stop service out to Memphis, Tennessee. Looking really good. Taxing out to runway 08 for departure, we have this Delta Connection number ERJ-170 filling in for a SkyWest number ERJ-175. For the heck of it, we'll just say that this one has normal winglets as well for SkyWest. This guy's currently making the non-stop service today out to Los Angeles International Airport and uh, just came in from there earlier. Looking really good. Next up right here, we have one of my favorite models in the fleet. It's really grown on me. The South Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the heart livery with the bent blended winglets. Pardon me, I about botched it again. You guys know my habit. This is by the Panda Models. Uh, Waffle Collectibles exclusive. This guy's currently holding short of 08. He's waiting to depart after a landing aircraft touches down. This guy currently has a non-stop service in from Dallas Love Field today. And then he's going to be heading out to Las Vegas with continuing service back out to Tucson, Arizona. Come back over this way. Beautiful airport. Very glad to have it in today's airport update. And what a perfect way to end off the first update of 2022 with this American Eagle under ERJ-175. This guy's currently on the behalf of Envoy Air with the non-stop service, the inaugural flight in from Austin, Texas. Let's go. Super glad to have this in the airport now. Albuquerque is the newest airport to be added to American Airlines Austin lineup. It's a daily Envoy 175, and I'm really, really excited. I'll be sure to check the seat map. Hopefully, it's good. Um, obviously, Southwest and Allegiant are on that route. So, uh, one thing that I've really noticed is a lot of airlines have added a lot of routes that other airlines do have, which is pretty interesting. You would think that you wouldn't want competition, but again, there's a lot of demand in today's aviation industry. So, it isn't surprising at the same time, but very glad to have this in here. And it's going to be an awesome addition to the Albuquerque Sunport lineup. Now we have Chicago, Los Angeles, Phoenix, Dallas, and Austin. So, that gives us a solid five destinations. Um, yes, I counted correctly, just making sure. But really glad to have this in today's airport update. Absolutely beautiful aircraft and a perfect way to end off today's airport update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. 2022 is going to be absolutely awesome, and I'm so excited for what's to come. I do have a couple of side notes, so let's get started with those. Albuquerque, as of late, has been seeing, to my knowledge, the Amazon Prime Air ATR-72, the brand new aircraft. I believe JC Wings is making it a 1-400, to if I heard correctly. So I'm definitely going to be picking that up just for this airport, which will be a very unique asset to the airport, which I'm super excited about. You guys can also expect a ton of new uh, Shapeways aircraft in here for the GA side of things and also hopefully some military stuff. The military planes are a little bit bigger but they should be able to fit onto here so that'll be awesome but I definitely hope to have a lot of variety going into 2022. In terms of the civil side of things we'll have all the main line that the airlines are willing to bring and everything in between but we really got a little bit of everything in this update. We got EAS service, we got cargo routes, we got civil routes, we got military stuff, we got everything. I mean it's absolutely amazing. Very very happy with the progression and I'm really really excited for what's coming in 2022 and it's going to be an absolutely awesome setting for the Sunport and an awesome year of hopefully a ton of growing and so many things to come. But with everything being said, everybody, I don't want to make this update too long or longer than it should be. Uh, no news for Albuquerque besides the two new routes, which I'm super excited about, and along with all the mainline aircraft. I'll be honest, I don't see the Chicago Services mainline holding up more than a month or two, but we'll see what happens. You never know. And then Austin and Burbank, respectively. Super, super excited to have those in today's uh, airport update and for many updates to come along with so many new routes to come as well with all that being said everybody thank you guys so much for watching today's airport update i really appreciate it uh be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see all the content going into new year i uh, definitely want to share it with you guys so if you haven't got a chance to do that already i would highly recommend it but regardless that will do it for today's airport update i want to thank you guys so much for watching my name is red Dirt aviation take it easy everybody stay safe trust the process do what you love and love what you do my name is red Dirt aviation i want to thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys soon as red Dirt aviation is signing off Thank you.